Hello and good evening, everybody. Oops, too low. Wow, that transition took longer than I expected. <laughs> uh, first off, Merrick, thank you so much for the tier one subscription. I really appreciate that. Thank you and welcome in. All right, so as some of you may or may not know, uh, the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes have just released. And I figured, why not play it on stream? I was going to buy it and play it anyways. Might as well do something fun with it. So, I decided I'd do a Nuzlocke run. And I know there are a bajillion people playing Diamond and Pearl right now. Oh, hey, thanks a lot, Grits. I appreciate that. Um, but I figured, you know, if I'm going to suffer through a Nuzlocke, I might as well make it interesting and let you all suffer with me, or at least laugh at me while I do so. Um, I am playing by slightly different rules. Um, one of the... Uh, like if you look in the title, I've called it a League Lock. And what that essentially means is all the typical rules apply. Um, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and it has to be released or boxed. Um, you can only catch the first Pokemon in any given area. Um, and you have to name every Pokemon you catch. Um, I've added a couple of additional rules. One of them is that if it is a League-sanctioned battle, like in a gym or the Elite Four or something like that, um, my... My, my logic is that they would have medical staff on standby to prevent Pokemon from dying. Um, so, if a Pokemon faints during a league-sanctioned match, whether it's a gym trainer, a gym leader, or something like that, then they don't die and they can be revived. Um, additionally, if you black out or white out, I guess, during a league match, again, you don't game over. Um, the other rules I've implemented is a, the dupes clause, meaning that if I've already caught the Pokemon on the first encounter and I encounter it in a different route again, I can skip that encounter and basically have the next Pokemon count as the first encounter for that area. The caveat being if that second Pokemon is also a duplicate, that's it. I'm screwed. I'm stuck with it. <laughs> so, it's still possible to get duplicates, but it should help even things out a little bit. Um, the other rule is the shiny clause, which basically just says if it's a shiny, no other rules apply and I can catch it. Um, <laughs> I can't necessarily use it, but I can catch it. Um, if it happens to be the first encounter of the route, it basically, if it follows all the rules, I can use it. Even if it doesn't follow the rules, I can still catch it. Um, and the shiny Gyarados does not count. That is a guaranteed battle, if I remember correctly. Um, the other one, the other rule that I'm uh, assigning is that any in-game trades with like NPCs or gifts or anything like that all of those are allowed um, what is not allowed is trading with other players so like wonder trade or if that's even a thing or you know if the the GTS is is working or the whatever the the Whatever the connect to everyone feature happens to be called. I really don't remember. Um, but if it involves another player, it doesn't count. It's not authorized. 
but if it involves an NPC or something like that, then it does count. Uh, I am live late. Uh, thank you very much for the tier one sub queen. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, just uh, going over some of the rules for this for this playthrough that I'm getting ready to start here in a few minutes. Um, the interesting caveat that I'm going to allow is if you spend bits at least a hundred I will let you <laughs> screw with me um, so like you could pay a certain amount of bits to force me to switch Pokemon in the middle of a battle or force me to use a certain move or you know force me to not use a certain type or force me to only use a certain type for like 10 minutes or something like that um i don't have a menu or i don't have crowd control or anything like that um so it's kind of on your honor but this will uh provide you an opportunity to to mess with me uh a little more personally than usual and i think uh it's just a trial run for today to see how it goes, but uh, I think it'll it'll be interesting. Um, having said that, I have tried to avoid anything and everything about the game, so I'm going to be starting it live here on stream. Um, let's go ahead and switch over to that. And I've even made... <laughs> an entirely new profile. Oh, by the way, I have a Pikachu. Sleepy Pikachu. Sleepy Chew. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this started. Maybe. Hello. Ah, here we go. Select the language you would like to play in. Uh, let's play in... <laughs> no, let's play in English. Would you like to start the game in the chosen language? Yes. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Munchlax! We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends, not food. <laughs> at times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose your photo from the lineup. We'll go with that one. What is your name? Fuck Nugget. By the way, if anyone wants to be my rival, say so now. <laughs> so, you're a Gen Z. A fine name. Why, thank you. I chose it myself. Now, this boy here. I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? You tell me, chat. <laughs> Marcus? No, it's got to be something unique. <laughs> what is your friend's name? Dipshit. Um... Ass. 
Why do I keep cussing? I don't know. Because I'm 12, that's why. We all know the answer here. <laughs> I mean, unless anyone has another suggestion. Oh, I realized you just can't, you can't actually see. Hold on. Haha. -ha. Going once. Going twice. All right, Ice Queen's husband. It is. All right, Chenzi, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Kami owes me a sub now. <laughs> Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide.net. Why did I say .net? <laughs> Yay! Hey, look, it's a switch. The TV is turned off. Gee, really? You check the PC. Pokemon Basics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it cute? Chenzi, Kami came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Oh, yes, Chenzi, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So don't do it. But I wanna. Twin Leaf. Fun. <laughs> what was that about? Oh, hey, Chenzi. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Okay, I'm finding you one million dollars if you're late. Fuck you. Oh, geez, forgot something. Oh, hi. Are you looking for Kami? He was gone for a second, but he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Does she not know? <laughs> just thought about that. Does, like, I wonder who he takes after. Does she not know who his father is? Or am I just reading way too deep into that? <laughs> oh look, he has a switch too. Where there is Poketch, there is Joy. Nurse Joy has a Poketch? Tommy's house. Fresh and free. I 
All right, I guess we'll continue with the plot. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's see. Text type fast. Let's change the window type. Um, that's kind of neat. Let's do that one for now. I wasn't done. Alright, battle effects on, battle style switch, send the box manual. Joy-Con controls? Interesting. Uh, auto save off. Off or on? Should we do off? Or, let's do off. Um, show nicknames. No. Okay, so I have no way of checking my trainer ID. We'll go find po a Pokemon. Yeah, we're just gonna randomly go find a shiny. Sure, buddy. Lake, let us let's find us a red Gyarados. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Bleh. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. What was that about? Those two. Huh? Chenzi, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. But plot! <laughs> it's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say, Professor. Oh no! Pokemon that I could probably punch with my fist. I need dice. Since I didn't have a way of um, checking my trainer ID before doing this, I'm going to roll just a standard D6. If it's a 1 or 2, I'll pick Turtwig. If it's a 3 or 4, I'll pick Chimchar. If it's a 5 or 6, I'll pick Piplup. Piplup, yeah. So, here we go. One. All right. 
And the game begins. Round one, fight! Go ahead, keep growling. You're still gonna faint. See what I tell you. Yay. Your turtwig totally rocked. Hey, Doc. But my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? No, it's just, you know, blatant petty theft. Yeah, we actually literally stole them, yes. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Of course you do. <laughs> and plot hey it's those people is that old guy staring at us hmm I heard from dawn that you used our Pokemon let me see them please hmm Turtwig and Chimchar hmm I see that's how it is Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. I think you should visit our... Yeah, we just steal two of his, you know, rare Pokemon. He's just like, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, he's just okay with it. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Kami are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Gen Z, I think you need to visit him in Sand Gem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to steal his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand that you're a petty thief. Oh, I know. Put these on, so that you can run away faster. <laughs> Going to Sand Gem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can run away faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. So, there it is. It's sassy. Special defense up and speed down. Well, that sucks. I mean, it's fitting for a turtle, but... Actually, that's like really fitting for a turtle. Why? What the hell? <laughs> I can't even save yet. Wow, that is actually like a lot faster.
Wow, one step. All right, so one of the rules that I have in effect for this is that I can't game over until I receive the first Pokeballs. So if for some reason I, you know, I lose to Starly or something like that, um, I'll just keep playing. I, I, you know, even if I black out, I'll keep playing. Um, also, none of these encounters count for a first encounter. Again, because I don't have Pokeballs. So, the game doesn't start. The run doesn't start, I should say. Until I get the Pokedex and Pokeballs and can actually catch something. This is our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go! Fud! What's up, bitch? <laughs> what the? Oh, it's you, Chensi. That old guy, he's not so scary as much as he is totally out there. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm out of here. See you later. My rival is named after Ice Queen's husband, by the way. If anyone else is curious. Finally, you've come. Chenzi, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'll give that Turtwig to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. Alright, what's it gonna be, people? Someone give me a name for this plant turtle. Shell. That's actually not bad. I actually kind of like that. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That is why I would like to entrust you with Turtwig. I am so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. Beat the shit out of you! Ahem. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. Because the, for some reason, the National Dex still isn't complete. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. To, I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Like I have a choice. Very high-tech device, automatically record data, go everywhere, meet everyone, blah, blah, blah. I've got one, too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? Bored. I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in the world. No, it's been counted. <laughs> that means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now, go. Your grand adventure begins right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Dawn. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Glad to meet you Gen Z.
professor from the Kanto region. Okay, Gen Z, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, we know all this. Oh, that's right. Don't you need to let your family know? Blah, blah, blah. Heal up the Pokemon Center. Okay, bye now. Alright, let's get some Pokeballs. And a Premier Ball. Um... Potions. Some antidotes. I always wonder what kind of world this would really be like with dangerous monsters hiding in every bush just waiting to kill you. You know, I've thought about that. And... I feel like it would be a mix between some dystopian suburbanite hell and, like, I don't know, what we see here, like pocket monsters. I don't know. Alright, so now that we have the Pokedex and Pokeballs, the game is officially on. Welcome home. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest. Blah, blah, blah. What's up? Ask you to do something that big. Go for it. Mom's got your back. Oh, I know. I've got something that you find useful. Here's the guidebook. Guidebook, don't care. Is my little Kami here? You want me to do what? I ain't no delivery boy. Oh, the hat or scar whatever. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, trainer ID 418790. Damn! I could have had any Pokemon I wanted. Oh well. Pokedex. Turtwig. Starly. Alright. So, starting from here on out, the first encounter in every area is, uh, I have to catch it, otherwise I can't catch anything. So, this is probably going to be a Starly. Hey! That's helpful. 
Oh, I forgot to turn my webcam back on. There we go. All right. No, I was hiding it so that you could see the uh, the text entry. All right, let's hit it one more time to make it yellow. If I crit, I might kill it. Leafage. Starly's data will be added to the Pokedex. All right, what are we naming Starly? Um. How about Flappy? Riddick says word. Word? All right. Oh, God damn it. Riddick, I hate you. <laughs> oh, come on! I can't catch this one. I can only catch one Pokemon per area. And I already caught Starly, because that was the first encounter. I can't catch Bidoof. Not allowed. Now, admittedly, there's nothing stopping me. But, Dems to rules. I will probably eventually catch a Bidoof anyways. It just won't be on this route. No. So Nuzlocke is a special set of rules um, to, to basically add an additional challenge. Um, the biggest rule is if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and can no longer be used at all. You either have to release it or put it in the PC box permanently. Um, the second rule is that you can catch the first encounter in any given area but only the first encounter in any given area so my first encounter in route 201 was word so i was allowed to catch word any other encounter in this route i'm not allowed to catch it the only exception to that is if it happens to be shiny which chances of that are literally one in four thousand so that's not gonna happen it can but it won't um i don't have a town map do i
Yeah, I don't have a town map. Um, so again, there's no, like, specific in-game thing preventing me from catching it. That's just the rule that I've implemented. Um, there are caveats to that. Um, I have a, a, a rule called the dupe clause. So, like, for example... Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I already know how, Dawn. I literally have a word here with me. You don't have to show me how to do this. Encounter the Wild Padoof. Go Piplup. I'm not doing this, by the way. <laughs> oh no, he's been weakened. Come on. You have 25 Pokeballs, you rich ass bitch. I could have had 25 Pokeballs. I need to survive, not just catch Pokemon. Alright. See, isn't it neat? Tee hee. Yay, free Pokeballs. So as I was saying, um, I do have a dupes rule. So for example, if my first encounter in this route is a Starly, I can kill it, run away, whatever, and not catch it. And my next encounter will be the Pokemon I'm stuck with. Even if that one happens to be another Starly. See, my first encounter here is a Bidoof. So, I'm going to try to catch it. If I knock it out, that's it. I cannot get anything else. In this route, at least. I'm going to use Tackle one more time. Yay! That's fine. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. More agile and active than it appears. Would you like to give Bidoof a nickname? Since Doc said so, we're naming it Snaggle. <laughs> hmm. Just in case. You're a Pokemon trainer. I also happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes meet, so battle we must. <laughs> Youngster Tristan sent out Starly. That's a good time for a crit. Alright, 
right, one more. That's okay. Actually, I kind of prefer Growl. Yay, I win. Word. I mean, you threw a bird against my turtle. What did you think was going to happen? Some birds do eat hurdles, but not that one. I spy with my little eye a trainer. A battle, please. You are challenged by Lass Nedley, who sent out Bidoof. All right. Time to murder a Bidoof. Come on! Come on, Doc, give us something! Badoof murder. Oh, hi, kid. But I'm gonna win! Fuck, no you're not. Not if I have anything to say about it. Youngster Logan. Sent out a Shinx. Really? This could, like, actually be a problem, if I'm not careful.
Okay, we're good. <laughs> Catching Pokemon, um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. In Jubilife, there's a trainer school which, well, you know, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yeah, Scotty went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. Uh, for a second, I thought she was going to try to battle, and I was a little worried. <laughs> Hello there, trainer. with the music. That's a light pole. Trainer school. I'm so sorry, the GWS isn't ready yet. I didn't want to go there anyways. God! Yay, town map. before I heal. The hell is that guy wearing? Yay, more plot. <sighs> Why 
What happened to two? All right, let's go get a poketch. that way. After you earn a gym badge. I love how my gym progress is a unit of measurement. supposed to go here next. not expecting this. Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. Who the hell are you talking to? Chimchar is definitely going to know a fire move. Oh. oh, here goes nothing.
Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. I mean, I'm okay with this for now. Uh -huh. I'm going to go for one more growl, and then I'm going to switch him out. Oh my god. <laughs> um. No. No, not yet. But if I'm not careful, we're gonna be. Please don't have a fire move. He might not have Ember yet. I might have just gotten super lucky. I thought for sure we were going to lose somebody. I thought for sure I was going to lose Starly or Bidoof. Sorry, word or snaggle. If, uh... If Kami had had Ember, we'd have been done. I'm gonna go ahead and save. 
Um, actually, it's been about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and take a short break. Um, so I will be right back and you guys get to listen to this awesome music. Okay, and we are back. All right, so, Route 203, what's our first encounter gonna be? Nope, I'm killing it. This falls under the dupe clause, so I'm going to go ahead and murder it. And hopefully, we get something better next time. two. This time for real. I guess we're catching another Starling. That's disappointing. Bad. 
All right, so we need another name for Starly. Because unfortunately, luck was not on my side, and I now have two of them. Um. I like Tweeter. We'll go with Tweeter. So, Word is going to be... Wrong one. Word is going to be our main Pokemon. Um, I'm going to keep him in the party just so that he can get some experience to level up. And that way, if anything happens to Word, we'll still have Tweeter to fall back on, I guess. I mean, it's not really much else I can do with that. Uh, I am going to go ahead and heal him, though. I, I, I did. I tried. <laughs> I tried. because I get power from my Pokemon. Youngster Bikel. Sent out Bidoof. Word grew to level 9. Word learned wing attack. That's actually useful. Zubat. Do I want to... Nah, I'll keep it up. I forgot about Supersonic. I don't know how I forgot about Supersonic, but somehow I forgot about Supersonic. It's okay, we're good. <laughs> Tweeter grew to level 6. Did you know? The first Pokemon to appear in a battle is the one at the top of your team list. Yes. Yes, I did know that. Pokemon moves use PP. To replenish PP, head for a Pokemon Center. I mean, it's like, it's, it's right there. Like, like, I can turn sideways and cross that gap. Like, for real, come on. It's right there. We're always together. I'll show you how we've bonded. Youngster Dallas. Cricketot. That did less than I had hoped. 
that did more than I had expected. Hey, artist, how's it going? You pounded the word, now the word is going to pound you. Bye bye I don't bear grudges over losing, but I promise I'll get tougher. Oh, that's why it's night. It's eight o'clock. Okay. <laughs> uh... Well, no, the reason I said, hey, it's 8 o'clock is now, in game, it's nighttime. Before it was evening, now it's night. And that actually matters because that changes which Pokemon are available. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swap these two. Give me a battle so I can see if I'm ready for the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Youngster Sebastian. Oh, you poor kid. I am accidentally going to demolish you. <laughs> I'll end it quickly. I guess that means I'm not ready for the gym challenge yet. Oh no, you you had a chance, just not against this one. <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything, I'm just fucking with her. <laughs> Last Madeleine sent out Starly. Go word. Of course it did. Oof. Bye. Word grew to level ten. Bidoof. Growl's not going to help you here. Don't know if you know this, but this battle is already over. Oh, I lost. La la la. Shut up. Pokemon is about to evolve, it can be instantly stopped. Press the B button during evolution to startle the Pokemon into stopping. That is how evolution can be cancelled. Oh, come on!
You mean I could have had an Abra? This is some bullshit. I got a second Starly when I could have had an Abra. I can skip dupes once. If the second Pokemon is still a duplicate, I, then I have to catch it. Um, Abra is usually a hard-to-find psychic type that becomes insanely powerful after it involves. Yeah, I had two Starlies back-to-back -back on this route. So I had no choice. This is annoying. This is this is just heartbreaking. Now, going back to what I was saying at the beginning of the stream, if someone wanted to spend money to give me another catch, that could be interesting. <laughs> now, obviously, I'm kidding. This is completely optional. You don't have to do anything. You know, you're probably right. <laughs> it probably would be another Starly. <laughs> oh, come on. I found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. Counter at the top right. Uh, you're gonna have to be a little more specific. Oh, uh, that's my step counter. It just counts how many steps I've taken. That's it. That's all it does. That was rude. Yeah, you're talking about in the sorry, in the in the corner over there. Yeah, that's just the step counter. I also have a team viewer a clock, and a calculator. Why I have a calculator, I don't know.
Oh. <laughs> All right. So this is a new zone, which means again, the first encounter I have to ch I have to catch. And I'm willing to put down money that it's going to be a Zubat. Because of course it is. Hey, it's a Geo dude. I don't know. I mean, this shouldn't be effective. Oof. That's okay. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm worried about it having like rock throw or something stupid like that. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it out. Okay, you're faster than the turtle. Congratulations. I feel like that's going to kill it. Um, you know what? Let's just go for it. I am happy with that. Grignac! Yes! Neck. <laughs> oh, looky there, you've got a poke itch. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good, you're a fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make you a gift of these technical machines to you. TM-98. Which is... Rock Smash. It's the HM's app. That's different. Hmm. I am going to take a moment. Okay, Doc, no problem. Uh, I'm going to take a moment to look up whether or not Or not whether or not, but when Geodude learns Rock Smash. This is kind of cheating, but not really. He doesn't.
Okay. So, tackle, defense curl. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tackle, defense curl, sandstorm, or rock polish. Speed is seven. Um. I think we're going to go with getting rid of rock polish and including rock smash. Counter, that's it. Howdy, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where this town's Pokemon gym is. Really? <clears throat> huh? There's someone there. Now I'm So I'm going to go ahead and train. I want to see if I can get Turtwig to evolve before the gym battle. Hey, it's a Zubat. Hey, it's a dead Zubat. 
Yay, level 12. Alright, more Geodude. That would have been nice to have. All right, the training continues. Sorry, I know this is a little grindy, but it's a gr it's a, a rock gym coming up, and I don't have a whole lot of options besides Rose Shell. Because Word and Tweeter are both weak to rock. And Snaggle isn't weak to rock, but he can't do anything against rock. So my only options are Rose Shell with a grass move and Grignac with Rock Smash. So I'm trying to get them built up a little bit before I actually go into the gym. To celebrate, I'm going to battle you. Picnicker Diana. Sent out Bidu. And Bidu did nothing. Psyduck. I will keep my current Pokemon and destroy it with a grass move. The effects of weather dissipated. There was no weather. Bye bye! Well, I guess losing is something to commemorate, too. <laughs> Noob. Go freshen up. So I hope everyone's having a good night. Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. I know most of you are lurking, and that's fine.
you finally got here. You're slow, like always. Shut up. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go to, uh, oh yeah, Orberg Mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... That's it? God, you suck. Looks like I have to go to the mine then. Orberg Mining Museum. Coal mining and hue. What? Hello, welcome to the Orberg Mining Museum. Hello, hello. How are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough, I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils, I can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. Hey. Right. Oh God, I don't care. Alright, that was boring. Oh, I guess the mine's down that way. Bag of Stardust. I genuinely didn't know that was there. Orberg Coal Mine, beware of busy Pokemon. Potion. Why, thank you. <laughs> to the mine. There were Pokemon that looked just like rocks. They sure surprised me. Take a next defense, though. Oh, right, the mine. Pokemon. Okay, so this is a dupe. <laughs> I kind of want to catch it just for the sturdy, but I'll see what else we can get first. Hey, escape rope. That'll be useful.
Not what I was expecting. I didn't know what I was expecting. It's time to murder some more Geodudes. Yes, please. Uh, let's see, fifty five and ninety five. Yep, we're getting ready to tackle. into it until it ends. Onyx. Oh! Oh, God! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Just get away. Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, um... This Pokémon existing is a 1 in 4,096 chance. Shiny Pokemon are very rare. And for it to just randomly show up like this, without shiny hunting, without looking for it, without like... Yeah, that's a shiny! And it has an Everstone? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. 
Okay. Yeah, because this is the, the the first Geodude that we found in uh, in the Ore Cave. And this is... Wow. So... Yeah, the only significant difference is that it's a different color. And whenever you release it into battle, you see the little sparklies that show up around it. Um, the, the stats are not specifically any different. Um, so you're not necessarily going to see, like... Oops. Wow, they're both the same. They're both quiet. That's funny. Um, so yeah, it's a different color. It is significantly rarer. Um, you can see this Geodude, for example, is made out of gold instead of rock. Um, but all of the stats are randomized the same as anything else. Um, it's not any particularly, it's not particularly any stronger or anything like that. It's just significantly rarer and, uh, well, shiny. <laughs> um, this is, this is probably the first time in, like, years that I've come across a shiny Pokemon randomly in the wild I'm like talking over several generations of this game oh man so given the rules as I described them in the beginning I made a exemption for shiny Pokemon basically regardless of the situation no matter what if a shiny Pokemon shows up I'm allowed to catch it I also said that if it shows up within the rules as normal then I can also use it in my party in this case the first encounter we had was a Geodude, and because of the duplicate clause, we said that one doesn't count, but the next one will. And this is the next one. So, Goldberg is allowed to stay in the party. <laughs> and that is just lovely. I'm going to go ahead and save again. And then I'm going to get the hell out of here. So yeah, if that, if that Geodude ever faints, I'm going to be quite upset. I can't believe that just a randomly out of nowhere, I found a freaking shiny Geodude.
All right, so the other rule that I implemented here is that league-sanctioned battles will not result in death. So for all of the fights inside this building, even if a Pokemon faints, it will not be considered dead. Specifically just for these three fights coming up. For now at least. Another Geodude for the slaughter. Hydrate. here we go welcome this is the orberg pokemon gym i'm rourke the gym leader but i'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type pokemon as the gym leader i need to see your potential as a trainer and i'll need to see the toughness of the pokemon that battle with you Challenged by gym leader Rourke, who sent out a Geodude. And it is. level 12. No problem there. Double team? Mm. Let's go ahead and replace Growl with double team. what you got. Level 12. Ooh, he's faster. That's okay, though. Because I hit harder. That is okay with me. I'm 
gonna do that one more time. make him rather hard hitting. Harden? Nah. Slightly worried, but it all worked out in the end. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge, but that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> Having that coal badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poketch. You should also take these too. You obtained TM76. Stealth Rock. Stickers? Oh, I forgot I had that X defense. Anyways, let's go ahead and save. <clears throat> I did not realize there was a cat passed out on my bed. Why not? Food. <laughs> Whoops, Chenzi, you got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place for the gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to round 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next up, the Eterna Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Ah, who's got time to count? Okay then.
Capper Curtis. Sent out a Shinx. So what's everyone up to this weekend? How's uh, how's everyone's weekend before Thanksgiving going? Hospitalized cat. Oh no. Um. Let's send word out after it. That's not good. Hi, Momo. He's staring at me like, why the hell did you wake me up? Planted rocks on the ground. It feels awesome taking those fast on a bike. I don't have a bike. Another bat of zoo. They must all die. Dum dum. Come here so I can love on you. You're 
world away from me. Really? What? Word is evolving. Staravia! They fly around forests and fields in search of bug Pokemon, moving together in huge flocks. Geodude! you move. Come here, kitty. Come on. Come on. There we go. Please, please hold for, for technical difficulties. Twitch. way yet? Well, I, I guess I can't. Come on. I can't believe I could have had an Abra instead of a Starling. Heal up.
tell me about groups? No thanks. <laughs> My husband is the president. We started out in a small workshop where he made whatever he liked. That's it. It's just a watch. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> something over here, I think, maybe? I thought I saw... And I might just be making this up, but I thought I saw something that I could use to, like, rock smash over here. I guess it's just my imagination. Anyways, um, let's see. I guess we go up here. Shenzi, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Okay. Zubat and Wurmple. Oh, 
crit the Zubat. Eh. Go ahead, keep beating up on Pinplup. I have no problem with that. Another Razor Leaf, and you're done. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children. Yeah, get fucked. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. Yeah, okay. So, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for... something. Anyway, Gen Z, well done. You battle quite capably. Seeing your trainers battle side by side with Pokemon makes you more confident. Um, in my decision to trust you with the Pokedex. Chenji, did you know the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon 2? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I wonder how true that is. Whoa! What was that just now? That was amazing! Those guys look awfully scary, but you sure showed them. Woo, that was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's Bibi, and I work as a system administrator in Earthholm City, east of here. Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give these ball capsules to you ball capsules. Now you can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. You can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule and it'll look really pretty when it bursts open. Stickers will also give you an edge in the super contest shows where I live in Earth Home City. So try to collect a bunch. Anyway, see you later! Shall we press on? Oh, new route. Do we 
want to search here or search higher up? Oh, I can get that item, whatever it is. Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Weak? Last Sarah, did you just call me weak? I'm about to kick you in the badoof. Bye bye Ooh. Is that enough? Oh, I shouldn't have battled in the first place. No, you fucking shouldn't have. No, it's not. what Pokemon we get. Anything at all. There we go. Cricketot. Can I catch it is the next question. Oh, God. Uh... I guess we'll just throw a Pokeball at it. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Even if I tried to use, like, Tackle or something, at level 12, it would be a complete knockout. So I guess I'll just throw another Pokeball. I hope I get lucky. Hey, we got lucky! So what do we want to name this Cricketot? Um. <laughs> I, I know. You spell Jiminy. Oh, it's one M for starters. There we go. Jiminy. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket Hot. God, I'm a dork. Add to your party. Um, you can go to the box. I'd rather have two Geodude than two Starly. Oops. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're gonna win for me. Oh, kid. You're challenged by youngster Tyler, who sent out a mad oh kid. Oh jeez, kid. Sorry to break it to you, but uh, your daddy screwed you over.
And it's a knockout. But they're Pokemon I got from my dad. Sorry, kid, your dad sucks. I don't know what else to tell you about that one. Paralyze heal. Go ahead and heal up. I still can't believe I found a freaking shiny golem, or geodude. Yay, Lotto! Three Flora Stickers B. I have returned, Doc! Doc! I found a shiny Geodude! And I caught it, like, legit. I went into the mine, and... The first Pokemon was a Geodude, so I skipped it for the Dupe Claws. The second Pokemon I found was this one. And Shiny is essentially just completely cosmetic. It's a different color Geodude, essentially. Um... It, there's no, like, inherent difference in power or anything like that. It doesn't learn any moves differently or anything like that. It's basically strictly cosmetic. The reason it's so, oh my god, wow, is because it is a 1 in 4,096 chance. I named it Goldberg. But yes, it's a, basically a gold neck. And because I caught it legitimately, I, I'm keeping it in my party. Greg Gold.
Uh, and I beat the first gym. Uh, but be besides that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, one of our Pokemon evolved. Word evolved. And I caught Jiminy the Cricketot. now a phrase ha <laughs> all right let's see what else we got in here Global spankings. <laughs> kind of been on the fence about whether or not mystery gift counts because I know right now there are several legendary and mythical Pokemon being offered for free doesn't have a Nintendo account. Never mind. <laughs> that solves that problem. trouble you for a battle, please. Alright, Samantha, what do you got? A Badoo. Go on, Rochelle. I know you can do it. Murder this Badoo with your razor leaf. Worry Seed?
Uh, no. Lass is the, uh, her trainer class. Similar to, like, Hiker or Youngster or, uh, Ace Trainer or something like that. Jiminy. <laughs> Ravaged path. Okay, new area. Let's see what we get. Zubat! I knew it was going to happen eventually. Level 5? Come on! How am I supposed to attack this thing? Yes. What does it have? Astonish? I don't even think it has supersonic at this level. does. I am not taking the chance of Goldberg knocking itself out. Didn't need to. Alright, what are we naming the Zubat? Even though it has no eyes, it can sense obstacles using ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. We need a name for a bat. Batman? How about we name it Bruce? <laughs> Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. You want to do what now? Aroma Lady... What? Kegler? Kegler! Am I reading that right?
Jiminy. Cheruby, will you switch out Pokemon? Yes. Come here, word. I need to have a word with you. God damn it. And dead. Even though I lost, I'm not angry because it smells so nice. Weirdo! <laughs> Apparently, yes. Swap this in advance. Okay. Say, what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? Kid, you are about to find out. Bug catcher Brandon. Goldberg. I'm not going to be able to explain the charms of bug Pokemon this way. Nope. No, you're not. Ooh. I didn't see that. I don't think I have a choice. Um. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Oh. Okay. Bullet seed. Floroma Town. I'm going to go ahead and take another break. We are at three hours. Um, so I will be back in just a few minutes. Take this time to stretch, get some water, get something to eat, get out of your chair, etc., etc., etc. And I will be back in a few minutes while I do the same.
I will tell you what to do, and you'll like it. Anyways, I'm back. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in the Florama Town. Really? Okay then. <laughs> Do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Yes, you agreed. Here's some TM for the move pluck. There is joy. That counts. <laughs> I did not know that this was here. But now I have a Mew. Weird hairless flying cat thing. I'm going to go with no. Um... Partly because I only have 12 letters to work with. And partly because no. <laughs> um, woof. the wrong button. Dang it. Mew beta. Yeah, I accidentally pressed X, so it's kept the default name for Mew. So as soon as I find a name changer, I'll have to... Tinkerbell? Yeah, that, that, that. I'll go with that. Deal psychic. Interesting. 
confusion and wish. Snaggle for now. reflects the target's type, making the user the same type as the target. So like if I if it's a grass type, Mew becomes a grass type, I guess. That's kind of weird. And pound. quite that kind of wish. Done? That took longer than I expected. <laughs> Sorry, I drank a lot of cheese.
All right. We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? Really? Is that what you think? And you're done. Okay. just gained like six levels. And two more. I guess. Help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Woodworks, but the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. So, interesting note. I can't actually encounter any Pokemon in Route 205 right now. Valley Windworks is a completely separate area. go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out of the Not Part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay, then you'll have to battle me for it. Alright. Let me out. Oh, trust me, I'm trying, I'm gonna try. There we go.
so close. Take it. I just hope I don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Okay, I'm. I, that, that's fine. That's fine. So, what are we naming the weasel? Rochelle wants to learn curse. When air fills the flotation sack on its neck, the sack balloons like an inner tube. This Pokemon floats with its head out of the water. So its neck is an air sack. And it is a sea weasel Pokemon. We'll go with floaty. I wasn't trying to get into a fight just yet, but at least we got it. I'm sure you do, Doc. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Oh no, we have been surprised by a child. What shall we do? Meh. Huh? 
Time to murder a worm. Stuck as a grunt forever. Yeah, because you're an idiot. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. I am up next. Hey, 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 hey. Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you has gives me the edge. Sure, buddy. Your cohort, who did exactly nothing. Oh no, it is a Zubat. Whatever shall I do? And you're done. If only I had some decent Pokemon. This brat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. And I know a lot of words. God damn it. We're done for now. Let us get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It is a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. It is of no use to me. You may as well have it. I don't write the story. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? If you slather that honey on a sweet smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. Anyways, So, as far as this game is concerned, um, everything that I do under this Nuzlocke account is going to be locked to this account, obviously. Um, what I want to do for my actual account 
is reset until I get a shiny Piplup. And again, the odds of that are 1 in 4096. Which means I would have to start a game get to the point where I choose the starter Pokemon see whether or not it's shiny and then reset if it's not and that could take one reset, ten resets, a hundred resets, and I have no way of influencing it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Now, it eventually gets to a point where, just by sheer probability, it becomes a guarantee. But each reset is a 1,000 in, or a 1 in 4,096 chance. So, like, it's not cumulative or anything like that. So, it could take four quadrillion whatever number that is resets no I'm not gonna get a bonus cuz I lost to a kid so it never actually becomes a guarantee it just seems that way yeah exactly exactly Collecting electricity from Valley Windworks. That's our mission. Because it's shiny? I mean, that's, that's really the only reason why? We'll keep word out. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky. Rename your kitten after me? Why? What did I do? I'm trying to kill the cat. Or, well, this cat, at least. Grignac. <laughs> oh, that's what you meant.
I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If you win... If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Commander Mars. I don't know what that's supposed to be in the background. I'm assuming it's supposed to be, like, Mars, but... I don't know. I did not want to do that. Oh, this is bad. Okay, that's good. We're swapping. We are swapping immediately because that did not go the way I wanted it to. Beating the crap out of it. Crit. Commander Mars is about to send out Perugly. There you go, Matt. Alright, we'll try this. I don't know how well this is going to work.
Really? Yeah, the, the fat cat is kicking my ass right now. I need this cat to stop using Thief. Jesus. Oh no! <laughs> I needed that sandstorm to last for one more turn. But we're good. Whew. I had to work for that one. shell evolved in the grottle. Oops, I messed that one up. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy, no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I've fancy my little daughter again. Blah, blah, blah. Here comes said daughter. Papa! Yeah, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Uh, thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. I don't think... She realizes that that's actually kind of a bad thing. <laughs> oh well. Go heal. Go 
because that was kind of scary. Um, the Pokemon that she's talking about, Drifloon, um, actually has kind of a creepy lore behind it, where it would lure children away and then kill them, basically. It tugs on the hands of children to steal them away. <laughs> it is whispered that any child who mistakes Drifloon for a balloon and holds onto it could wind up missing. <laughs> so, yeah, this is... Drifloon is, is kind of evil. <laughs> Oh yeah, like if you actually dig into the lore and like Pokedex entries and stuff like that, some of the stuff that they that that's described is really really dark. Uh, I don't want to go through the grass yet. I don't think I have a choice. Let's go. Alright, well, here we go. Shellos? Level 9. I can't even attack this thing. Found it again. That's enough. <laughs> Ta da. Shellos' data will be added to the Pokedex. Its colors and shapes differ from region to region. In the Sinnoh region, two types are confirmed. Would you like to give Shellos a nickname? Um, how about... Turbo? After the snail? Really? White Shadow. 
Oh, come on! I call BS on that line of sight. Oh, whatever. I'll just murder your Geodude. attacking because he saw me. That's it. Switch. Badoof. Really. And you're done. Yay. Oh yeah, a refreshing battle that was. All that for an X attack. It's an event that exchanges air from the Grand Underground. You found a Pokeball! Sienna with a shinx. Don't leer at me.
Pachirisu. I don't know what that is. at me in that tone of voice. thing is being quite stubborn. There we go. Oh, I took surprisingly little damage and all that. Damn. Of all the places possible, I've lost my way here. Really, guy? You go north or you go south? That's it. Go up or down. Like, those are your options. And you have an onyx. How could you possibly be lost with an onyx? You know what? Never mind. You're about to not have an onyx. used harden. You know, I'm going to leave that one alone. Time to kill the weasel. Uh, 
Oh, this isn't even fair. That one can stay. I want to give some of these guys some experience. So let's make a box. So this will... This will give some of the other Pokemon a chance to level up. I'd like to see these guys get to at least level 10. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult. I did that completely wrong. But that's okay, because this kid's about to get his head stomped in. is evolving. Jiminy Cricketoon. It 
crosses its knife-like arms in front of its chest. <laughs> when it cries, it can compose melodies ad lib. All right, you can stop with the status effects, please. Okay, Queen. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be on too much longer. It's been four hours, and it's actually pretty late. levels. Snaggle wants to learn Headbutt. to do and go heal We'll do a little bit more grinding, and then I think I'll go ahead and save and call it an evening. Um, that being said, I will try to stream again on Tuesday. Um, because I'm having fun with this, and I'd like to keep it going. Alright, 
that gets everyone, most everyone, to level 10. No. I think we'll actually put Turbo in the party, just to give us a little bit more versatility. Yeah, I think this will be our lineup for now. This will be our reserves. And these are if we ever frickin' feel like it. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call tonight. Thank you for hanging out with me, whether you were chatting or lurking or laughing at me behind the scenes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Um, there's not really a whole lot on, so I'm going to... I'm going to send it over to our friend Nintendesi. Um, it is mature content, so be forewarned. I believe he's playing Zelda 2? Yeah, Zelda 2. Um, so go send the love over to Nintendesi, and I will see you all on Tuesday. So have a good night, everybody.